Hi, I'm Laura, Assistant Editor at Make. In today's weekend project, we'll be combining the Pulse Sensor Amped with the Mintduino kit to create a wearable, heartbeat blinking accessory that we call the Beat Band Sleeve. The original project by Jay Shergel connects the sensor to wherever you get a good pulse reading and displays your heartbeat on the five flashing LEDs mounted to the tin. Wear it while you run, play video games, or even while you meditate to show your calming heartbeat rhythm. Visit your local Radio Shack to pick up all the available parts you'll need to build this project. You'll also need these tools. It only requires a moderate amount of soldering, so you can easily build it in a day. We'll start the project by building the Mintduino as described in the instructions that come with the kit. It's a fairly easy build and it should only take an hour to complete. Once completed, make sure the test program, which comes preloaded on the Arduino, blinks the supplied LED on pin 13. Next, we'll add the pulse sensor to the Arduino circuit. Connect the black wire to the negative rail of the breadboard, the red wire to the positive rail, and the purple wire to pin 23 of the integrated circuit. This pin is the equivalent of the analog zero pin of the Arduino. You will also need to prepare the pulse sensor prior to its first use. You'll want to place one of the clear stickers provided with the kit on the white heart side of the sensor and put a layer of hot glue on the back side of the sensor to insulate the exposed connections. Now you can upload the pulse sensor code using the FTDI friend. You can find links to all the source code on the project page. You can also find more information about uploading code and any drivers you may need for programming. If all goes well, you should see pin 13 blinking along with your pulse. Now that we've tested the basic functionality of the circuit, it's time to make it permanent by transferring it to PerfBoard. It's a fairly easy process and the project page has a link to show you how to get started by transferring the Mintduino circuit to PerfBoard. The AT Mega is soldered off-centered on the perf board. This layout provides us with power and ground throughout the circuit on the middle two rails. Once you have the Arduino circuit soldered together, we can add the pulse sensor to the board. Start by cutting the male header connectors off the end of the pulse sensor wire and strip the end of each wire. Next, solder the pulse sensor's signal wire to A0 of the Arduino, which is pin 23 on the AT Mega chip. Flip the board over and solder the pulse sensor's red wire to the positive row of the center rail and the black wire to the negative rail of the perf board. Be sure to check the polarity before you go any further. Now we need to make a nice enclosure to keep everything together. We'll use a mint tin since the Mintduino came with it and it's the perfect size. Start by removing the lid and drilling five holes for the heartbeat LEDs. Insert the LEDs so that the negative leads are all oriented to one side. Add some hot glue to hold them in place. Then bend the negative leads over so that they contact each other and solder them together. Then do the same for the positive leads. Now we need to connect the heartbeat LEDs to the circuit. Cut a red wire and a black wire a few inches long. Strip the ends of each wire and solder them to the LEDs on the tin connecting the red to positive and the black to negative on the LEDs. The black wire connects the LEDs to the ground rail via a 220 ohm resistor and the red wire to pin 19 of the IC, which serves as pin 13 of the Arduino. Now we can add all the electronics to the tin. Since the tin is metal, we need to insulate the bottom with some cardstock or other non-conductive material. Add a layer of cardstock to the bottom of the tin and then add the electronics. Enlarge one of the hinge openings in the tin and run the battery connection and the pulse sensor through this hole. Once everything is in place, snap the lid back on, add a battery, and insert the mint tin into the armband. The last step is to route the pulse sensor wires through the center of the armband. This allows the sensor to be placed against your bicep near the inside of your elbow. The fabric of this armband is thin enough so you can easily see the LEDs blink through the fabric, which is great because cutting and finishing holes for the LEDs and stretch fabric is a project in itself. Displaying your pulse with an Arduino is a fun build, but we think it's just the beginning of a larger project. 
What else could you use this technique for? Does your heart rate change when you lie, sleep, or meditate? Can you sense your pet's heart rate? What about a robot? Let us know what hacks and modifications you come up with in the comments on the project page.